You guys, this is gonna be a first. I've never, ever done this on you. Well, have I? I could be lying, but I'm gonna make this statement anyway because I don't recall doing this. I feel like this is gonna be my very first empties video on YouTube or any social media platform. Okay, so this is my basura, right? I was going through my stuff and every time I found something that needed to go to the garbage because it was empty, I realized I can compile this, I've seen people do it, and do a full-on empties video and give you my feedback on the product now that I've used it up and let you know if I think it's worth your money. Should you spend the money? Should you not spend the money? Like, do you need it? Is it life-changing? Does it work? And all that good stuff. I have my little zafaconcito, it's a little trash bin, and we're gonna get to it. Here is an aroma therapy spray. This is the Stress Release Eucalyptus Spirit Mint with Natural Essential Oils Pillow Mist. I've had this for quite some time. Y'all already know life could be stressful. Chaos City. I love this and it's over. Like it's like I made sure I used it up. If you like eucalyptus, you're going to like this. The spearmint is very, very light, but it works so well with the eucalyptus. I sprayed this on my, or sprayed it because now it's over on my pillow before going to bed, especially on high stressful nights and I sleep like a freaking baby. I also like to freshen up my pillows during the week with this spray. So I'll just like spray, flip it over, spray. I even spray my sheets. This is freaking fantastic. Anything eucalyptus is my world. The L'Oreal Revital Lift. Miha, this is the Derm Grade 12% Vitamin C plus E plus salicylic acid. It's insane. I've had this three months. It's done. Look, esa gotita, it's done. It smells amazing, I love the fragrance. This was sent to me in PR, so I didn't purchase this one per se, but would I spend my money on it? Yeah, I think it's really, really good. My skin loved it, my skin felt healthy and glowy and plump, and I felt like the little wrinkles that I end up getting here, like they're like laugh lines or like frown lines or something like that, you, you see that? I feel like this helps that kind of disappear somewhat. I'm gonna tell you two things. If you subscribe to Beauty Boxes and you get a lot of skincare, skip this. If you already have a lot of skincare, do not spend the money on this right now. Only snag it if you need it, you're gonna open it and you're gonna start using it in the moment. And the reason why is because although I love it, okay, this is not a product that you wanna be rotating with a whole bunch of other ones. At first, it was clear. And if you look at the container and at the cap, it changed colors. I'm sure it's because obviously being exposed to the air and that kind of thing makes a difference. I don't know. For me, it made me feel a little yucky using it towards the end. I didn't get any reaction. I did finish it off. It took a good maybe two months before it started changing color, but I found it a little weird. So I say that to say I tend to rotate so much skincare, so it makes sense that it took longer than expected for me to finish up this bottle. Maybe in a 30 day time frame, had I used this in the morning at night, you know, consistently within just 30 days, it wouldn't have happened. It took me three months because I rotate a lot of products, but that says a lot. Only three months and I was able to use this up because it's that good. If it wasn't that good, it'd be like other products I have that like are not even halfway. I have an eye cream by Well People. It is the Revitalizing Dew Mushroom eye gel cream. This is a product that I received in an AIA beauty bundle. I used this baby up and then I squeezed everything that I could to make sure that I can get all the product. It was okay. I didn't find this in particular to be life changing for my skin. I used it up because I had it and I really wanted to give it a try because of the snow mushroom and people say so many amazing things about it. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> All jokes aside though, it was fine. It wasn't life-changing. Here's another product that was fine and not life-changing. It is by Clarence. Their multi-active Ukes Instant Eye Reviver targets fine lines. So here's the thing about this one. It is mainly meant to target your fine lines and your wrinkles. I don't really have those. So can I say it's life-changing for me personally? No because I don't really have fine lines and wrinkles. Like out here, I don't really have crow's feet. Here, I don't have crazy fine lines. I used it anyway, because I figured just because I don't have them doesn't mean I can't start treating the eye area. It was nice. I didn't get an irritation. Clearly, I used the baby up, but I can't say I noticed a difference in the maybe how long, oh, six months of using it before going to bed, like here and there or whatever. Um, because at the end of the day, although I used it up and it was consistent, if you don't have something, how can you see a difference? If you don't have 
what it's supposed to target, you can't sit here and say, oh my God, it smoothed the fine lines that you never had. That's that with this product. And you guys, anything that I'm sharing here, I'm giving you my feedback, my personal like, you know, experience with the product. But obviously if you've tried them, you love it. You have great experiences, bad experiences. I want you guys to give the feedback in the comment section, help all of our friends here on the YouTube. We are a family, right? When you join the YouTube channel, Johnny G, we become a family. So we're gonna be here and support one another. So if you have fine lines and wrinkles and you've used this product and you're like, girl, I used it, I love it, I've replenished it, or I ran out, but I wanna buy another one because it was amazing, because I noticed the difference, let us know in the comment section. Oh my God, okay, yes, I am dipping into the trash bin, taking things out one at a time. This is freaking life-changing. Highly recommend it. I'm mad because I would get it off of Walmart and I got it for like $4 and like 70 something cents and now it's almost six bucks, okay? I don't know if it's the economy, the recession, or if a lot of people are buying it so they raise the price on it. There are two versions. They have one with the green cap or one with the blue cap, which is this one. I only get the one with the blue. I don't know if it makes a difference. I stuck with the blue ever since I got it because I found that the blue one works for me. Now, if you guys recall, I featured this in a favorites video about a month before for I think last month and then the month before. This is not done, there's still a lot of product in there. However, the reality is when I featured it, Cam had already pulled off the label, so I couldn't really show you guys what it looked like. This baby is called Steel Nails and it has hyaluronic acid. It is advertised to be a nail hardener, but girl, it is way more than that and the proof is in the pudding. It is a nail hardener with hyaluronic acid, keratin, calcium, and garlic and no it doesn't smell like garlic at all it smells like a regular clear nail polish like a clear top coat i've been applying this consistently twice a week for months now i have to trim my nails down once a week my nails are healthy they keep growing it helps your nails grow so fast it helps them gain the strength that they need so that they won't keep breaking on you and i swear buy this baby. This is my second bottle. I failed to save the one that was completely empty, which is why I grabbed this one. And the one that was completely empty didn't have the little thing thing. So it just made sense to show you this one so you would see what it looks like. Totally worth your $5 and some change. So six bucks, totally, totally worth it. Look at this body wash. It's empty and I didn't even buy it. I fell in love with it by default. As you guys know, my sister and my nieces, my mom, they're all living with me. They ended up buying their toiletries. She snagged this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. Both my girls have extreme eczema. I mean, to the point that we need to really hydrate their skin every day, no matter what. The only thing that they can use is Aveeno. It's the only thing that works for them. I've tried Johnson & Johnson. Girl, you get breakouts. The Aveeno that I buy, it's the baby one. This thing is freaking fantastic. Ty started using it, works for her. Then she left it in my bathroom. I ran out of my body wash. And I was like, hmm, let me try this one. I love the fragrance. It smells really fresh, clean. The fragrance works for children, but also works for adults. And it left my skin feeling hydrated, clean. I didn't feel itchy afterwards. I freaking love this thing. So if you've tried this, just know there's a three pack. I think she got it at BJ's. Don't sleep on it. I got a shampoo by the Nuco. These were gifted. This is from their super thick line. So this is the super thick shampoo and the super thick conditioner. You have to like eucalyptus and mint type of fragrances in order to like this combo. The fragrance is really there. Now mind you, this here is supposed to help your hair. It says hair growth and density shampoo. I don't feel like it did much of anything for me. I really, really don't. If anything, it made my hair feel so greasy afterwards and I have very, very thin hair. I just feel like it didn't do it for me. So I'm gonna say this. I'm not mad because I got it in PR, but to be fair, I wouldn't repurchase. So I wouldn't spend my money. And if you are looking to spend your money investing it in something like this, I'm gonna tell you to do your research. Just cause it didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. However, what if there's a cheaper alternative that actually works out on the market? We're gonna stick with the shampoo and conditioner vibes, okay? Remember these? I showed you guys APR haul and these were in there. It's done, it's over. To be fair, I didn't finish these by myself. Ty was using them too. They are the L L V 
Hyaluron and Plump 72 hour hydrating shampoo with hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. I will put it everywhere. I'll put it in my toes if you tell me to. These were also sent to me in PR. I actually really liked it. The fragrance was nice and weird enough, it did not make my hair feel greasy afterwards. It did not weigh down my hair. My hair felt really clean and Ty has really, really dry hair. She has really dry curly hair. She really liked this too. So I'm going to say if you're out on the market to try a new shampoo and look at this smells so good and a new conditioner, try these. Would I snag more now that the PR ones are over? They're already in my car at walmart.com girl. I know they're not helping me with my hair growth or the density, but it smells really good and I really liked how clean my hair felt afterwards and lightweight and stuff. So yes, living proof. These were also sent to me in PR. These are the no frizz shampoo and conditioner. They're supposed to smooth and stop the frizz. Oh my God, I talked to you guys about this so long ago. It is now that I'm getting around to talking to you guys. I finished this a long time ago too. So it's been in a bin for a while. I've been trying to collect enough empties in order to be able to like do an empties video, I guess. The fragrance is nice. It kind of has a little hints of citrus, but it's not very citrusy, so that works. This is a nice set. I will, however, let you know. If you have thin hair like me, the shampoo is gonna work wonders on your hair. It's gonna lather up and it's gonna plump up your hair. Your scalp is gonna feel delicious. I really like the conditioner, but if you have very thin hair like me, girl, you need to only apply the smallest amount of, it's so emollient, the smallest amount of conditioner, like on the tips of your hair, like from here down, let it sit for like a minute and then rinse it out and really make sure you rinse it out because if not, your very thin hair will grip on to the moisture of the conditioner. That's my only feedback on that. But these were really nice and I would purchase out of pocket. I've talked to you guys about the Magic Micellar Water by Tarte for years at this point. Look, they're both gone. This is so freaking good. It is like magic in a bottle. If you ever remove your lashes and have glue stuck on your own lash line, just getting a cotton pad, a little bit of this, kind of let it sit for like a few seconds, and then wipe down and it just crumbles off. It removes every little bit of mascara you may have, even waterproof. And it is a great makeup remover. Obviously I have two, they're empty. I'm mad as hell, but I don't have one right here to show you what it looks like when it's full, but it's clear. I highly recommend this. I found another eye cream. Do not make jokes of this because I really squished the crap out of it to get everything out of it. And I highly recommend this eye cream. Pero mira, we say le saque jugo, okay? Because she's, mira, she's done. There's nothing else in there. So this is the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel. It's gonna look like that. It's actually pretty affordable too. I can't think of the price point. I remember Good Molecules posting a photo of this and I was like, hmm, I might wanna try that. And I commented, like, I didn't know you guys had that. Um, and they were like, we'll, we'll go ahead and ship you one, don't worry. They shipped it out. I love this thing this saved me okay and it lasted a really 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 long time do you guys remember when miss cam cam was not sleeping newborn i had under eye puffiness my under eyes were a little like purple blue we were having a moment i looked tired 24 7. i ended up getting this and applying it every day first thing in the morning and every day before going to bed and i would literally like apply it and like just let it sit there and go to sleep like this and hope that it would work and with time it did work obviously i used other skincare products in between but this is the one that i continued to use consistently and i noticed a difference on my skin i featured this in the past here on the channel but girl it is finally gone and i freaking love it and i have to snag another one because it's so good my ofra cosmetics biotech face gel it is an anti-aging and collagen boosting gel and girl i love this thing oh my god while i was there i should have gotten a back she's gonna look like this it has a pump and girl this thing smells ah. Uh, Amazing. I feel like it's helped smooth my skin, plump it. It has helped my skin look younger and healthy and glowy. And I was using it every single day until it finished like a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna end up getting a back up. I do recommend this one because it's actually really, really good. They have other skincare products that are actually amazing too. There's a gel, there's an under eye. It's it's just really good. And you don't only have to apply it on the face. You can apply this under the eye. You can apply it on your neck, on your decollete. 
it's gonna do wonders. The Farsali Skin Tune Blur. This is the second one that I empty out. I only have one more left. This is freaking fantastic. You only need a little bit. The little dropper actually doesn't lift product and drop it onto the skin because it's not a liquidy solution. It's more of a cream. So you would have to kind of like dip in there and go like this onto your skin. I highly recommend you only apply this in the areas that you're going to need it. For me, it's going to be next to my nose because my pores are slightly larger there. If I have texture, then I would apply it here anywhere that maybe you would apply some highlight and or you want to kind of blur out imperfections on the skin you can use this with or without makeup and yes makeup builds beautifully on it I've featured this so many times here on my channel and I can't believe this itty bitty baby is already gone this is number two why am I stalling I don't know but I really need to get the full size so that I don't have to worry about running low on the third one do you guys remember I recently showed you guys this niacinamide dew drops by Glow Recipe and I told you guys it was down here? Ya se termino. I used it up. It's over. It's done. I do have a backup so I'm not mad. What bottle is this? I think this is bottle two. Or is it bottle three? This is gonna create the most beautiful finish on your skin if you only wanna apply skincare and move about your day but you can apply this on your skin and apply makeup right on top of it and it is going to do the most. It just makes you look healthy, glowy, it brightens up your skin. It makes it look perfect, smooth. And with ongoing use, you are going to see improvements on your skin. My Ofra Cosmetics Complete Cover Concealer. You guys already know I am in medium golden. She's seca, she's gone, she's like, <laughs> it's okay, look, I have another one and this one's not dry, this one look comes right out with product i just opened her about a week ago i don't think i have finished a concealer in quite a long time this is the first time that i use a concealer so consistently i've traveled with her and everything to the point that i've actually finished her up it's beautiful if you wanted to get deeper ones to contour the skin or if you just wanted to apply your perfect shade under the eye they have a beautiful range of shades available so you're gonna find the shade that's gonna be perfect for you regardless you can apply a normal amount and get full coverage or just apply two itty bitty dots and then get very light coverage so it is a customizable coverage based on what you want and i'm obsessed with this concealer i've told you so many times you guys know i use it a lot here on the channel so this is an empty last but not least my gc love hair af gerard cosmetics had these on sale recently twice if you snagged it on sale oh my god you guys got an amazing deal because these go for 99 dollars. this is my third bottle i just opened up bottle number four now i've been using this for one year i have trimmed my hair a lot if you guys remember i had bald spots oh my god go back to my videos last year around um i'm gonna say march april around there if you go back to my videos all of this you could see my skin 100%. I would go like this and there were just patches of hair missing even here. I do not have anything covering. There's no powder or anything like that. I haven't done that in a while. It's all my hair and I'm so happy about it. And the length, when you're growing out your hair, it sucks because the thin parts, if they're up here and it's breaking apart, you have to allow that to grow in order to trim it so it'll be nice and even. So right now, the very thin parts are like down here and that sucks, but the fullness is all up here. Like I have hair to grip and I've talked to you guys so many times on my channel about it. I'm trying to be patient. I want my hair long and I want it to be full as full as I can get it. But I have to wait until it grows long enough so I can cut off the very thin parts at the bottom. For now, it's doing the trick. But the only reason why it's growing, it's because I'm actually consistently taking my Hair AF drops. I highly recommend them. You guys always wanna know when there's a deal over at Gerard Cosmetics. And you know, I always tell you guys, cause I want you guys to snack deals. I don't want you guys to have to pay full price for products if you don't have to. Oh my goodness, and that is it. Wow, you know what I noticed though? I went through a lot of hair care and skin care. One makeup item. What in the world? But that is insane. I am a makeup junkie, obsessed with makeup. I want all things makeup and all I featured was skincare and hair care. Hmm. All right, you guys, make sure you leave me a comment letting me know if any of these products are products that you're obsessed with that worked for you and that you really like or did they suck for you? And if you're new here, I wanna take a moment to invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week because I wanna make sure I have fun, ongoing content at all given times. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out and if you do, 
I will see you guys over there. Bye, guys.